Namo Adidafa, good morning. Thank you for joining me today for a daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. This morning we're reciting the third wonderful precept. Aware of the suffering caused by sexual misconduct, I vow to cultivate responsibility and learn ways to protect the safety and integrity of individuals, couples, families, and society. I am determined not to engage in sexual relations without love and a long-term commitment. To preserve the happiness of myself and others I am determined to respect my commitments and the commitments of others. I will do everything in my power to protect children from sexual abuse and to prevent couples and families from being broken by sexual misconduct. This morning we're going to be uh, doing the guided meditation called Embodying the Mind from Ajahn Suchita's book, Kama and the End of Kama. Sit in an upright posture and bring awareness to the present moment experience of the body. Ask yourself, how do I know I have a body? In other words, seek the direct experience of embodiment, the pressures, energies, pulses, and vitality that signify awareness of the body. Then from that place of direct sensitivity, Look for more details. Push down a little through your tail and pelvic floor. Notice how that helps to shift the spinal column into a balance where the sacrum is straightened and the lumbar region of the back forms a springy arch. Avoid locking or straining. Use a slight downward push to form the arch. Rather than force an exaggerated bow, with an upward thrust of the lumbar muscles. This gives the posture its crucial foundation. It allows the body to be carried by a spring that transfers its weight down to what you're sitting on. Move your awareness gradually and sensitively up your spine from the tail tip through the sacrum and the lumbar and thoracic vertebrae. Lightly stretch the body upwards from the hips. Check out the center of the back between the lower tips of the shoulder blades. Bring this place alive by drawing it inwards toward the heart. Moving upwards, make sure that the shoulders are dropped and relaxed and sweep a relaxing awareness from the base of the skull down the sides of the neck and across the top of the shoulders. Bring awareness to the neck vertebrae, that there is a sense of space between the back of the skull and the top of the neck. For this it may help if you tuck your chin in and tilt it down a fraction. Check the overall balance, that the head feels balanced on the spine, directly above the pelvis. Check that the spine feels uncramped, 
Relax the shoulders, the jaw, and let the chest be open. Spend some time feeling into the skeletal structure with the suggestion that all the joints between the arms and the shoulders, for example, loosen and feel open. Let the arms be long. Relax into balance. Attend to the bodily sensations in bodily terms. For example, how the weight of the body feels distributed or the degree of vitality and inner warmth that is present. Feel for the subtle movements in the body, even when it is still, pulses, throbs, and the rhythmic sensations associated with breathing in and out. Get comfortable. Evaluate the bodily impressions in terms of ease. A certain pressure in one place may feel solid and grounding, and another feel tight or stiff. The energies and inner sensations moving through your body may feel agitated or vibrant. Let go of mental interpretations as to what causes these, or any reactions as to whether they are right or wrong. Instead, spread awareness evenly over the entire body with an intent of harmony and steadiness. Let that attitude be felt as an energy spread over the body. This will allow any tightness to relax and bring brightness to slack or dull areas. As things come into harmony, the sensations of the breathing will become more apparent, deep, and steady. You may find that not only does the breathing flow down into the abdomen, but it also sets up a subtle flush or tingle that can be felt in the face, the palms, and chest. Dwell in that and explore how it feels. It's likely that the mind will wander, but make sure above all that you stay with the intent of harmony and steadiness. So when you notice that your mind has drifted at that moment of realization, pause, don't react. As the mind hovers for that moment, introduce the query, how do I know I'm breathing now? Or simply, breathing? Attune to whatever sense arises that tells you you're breathing and follow the next outbreath, letting the mind rest on that outbreath. See if you can stay with that outbreath to the very last sensation and into the pause before the in-breath. Then follow the in-breath in like fashion to the very last sensation. In this way, let the rhythm of the breathing lead the mind rather than impose an idea of mindfulness onto the natural process of breathing. Explore how you experience breathing in different parts of your body, beginning with your abdomen. How does the abdomen know breathing? You may experience it as a fluid swelling of sensation. Be with that for a few minutes, letting the mind take that in. Then, how does the solar plexus know breathing? This may feel more solid and opening and closing. Then the chest, where swelling, airy sensations predominate. Check out the throat and the center of the brow above the bridge of the nose. Notice how the breathing is not one mode of sensations or energies, and yet in terms of energy, the distinction between in and out breathing is always recognizable. Eventually, your mind will want to settle and center itself at one point in the body. Let it choose which feels the most comfortable, maybe the chest or in the upper passages of the nose, for example. <clears throat> then continue following and sampling the breath as before. 
as the mind merges into the breath energy, spread its awareness over the entirety of the bodily sense in the manner of suffusing or pervading. The distinct sensations of breathing may well diffuse and dissolve into that energy. Allow some trust, letting the thinking attention relax and relying on the enjoyment of subtle energy to hold your awareness. Be present, but not engaged with whatever arises. When you wish to stop, draw your attention back to the textures of the flesh and the firmness of the skeletal structure. As you feel that grounded presence, allow your eyes to open without looking at anything in particular. Instead, let the light and forms take shape by themselves. May all beings be well, may all beings be happy, may all beings be peaceful. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you for joining me this morning.